Karnataka Congress leader and party's troubleshooter DK Shivkumar, who is being investigated in a case of alleged money laundering and arrested on Tuesday evening, is going to be produced in court. Now, he spent the night at Delhi's uh, Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital, where he was brought by the ED for uh, a medical checkup. The agency is expected to produce him in court any time now to seek his custody. The Congress has said D.K. Shivkumar's arrest is vendetta politics by the centre and an attempt to distract the public from its failed policies and the economic condition. There have been protests across uh, Karnataka and other parts uh, of uh, the country, including uh, the capital. There were some protests outside the Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital also where Mr. Shivkumar has been kept. Arvind joins us at this point. Arvind, uh, what's the latest? When is he going to be produced in court? Ankita, the enforcement directed arrested former Karnataka Minister D.K. Shukumar yesterday evening around 8.30 p.m. on grounds that he has not been cooperating with the investigation and he was evasive throughout during the recording of statement under Section 50 of PMLA. After arresting, he was taken to RML Hospital for medical checkup where he told doctors that he is feeling uneasy and when the medical examination was done, it was seen his blood pressure and also the sugar levels were high. So after which he was admitted at the RML Hospital uh, uh, yesterday night and today morning also he said the same thing that he is feeling uneasy and even at this point of time he is still under medication and that's why the enforcement directorate officials could not take him back to the enforcement directorate office for further questioning. Earlier they planned to bring him, uh, produce him before the special court at the Rouse Avenue Court Complex around 2 p.m. But because he is still at the hospital and the uh, medical report has not yet come out, uh, the enforcement directorate officials are still waiting at the RML hospital for the procedure to get over before being taking him to the special court uh, for further custody. What we are hearing is that at this point of time, enforcement directorate is still undecided, but they are planning to uh, produce him before the special judge around 4 p.m. for further custody. Ankita. Right, Arvind. Thank you for those details. And Maya Sharma has more on the fallout of DK Shiv Kumar's arrest in Karnataka. There is so much drama always surrounding that prominent Congress troubleshooter DK Shiv Kumar that after the news of his arrest came out, it would be too much to express it expect that there would be no drama there too. Yes, last night, after the news of the arrest came down to Karnataka, there were protests in the district of Ramnagara, other places as well in Karnataka, a bus burnt also in Kanakpura. This morning as well, there are more scheduled protests in the terms of one of the prominent Congress MLAs, Harris, organized a protest near one of the war memorials in Bengaluru. In Ramnagara district, which is really the focus point where perhaps the protests have a chance of getting out of control. Schools and colleges have been closed for a day. There is increased police presence at BJP related locations, whether it's the BJP office or the chief minister's residence, a little bit more security there just to make sure that things stay peaceful. And Chief Minister B.S. Yadurapa also was briefed by the Home Minister and senior police officials on the security situation. Interestingly, though, B.S. Yadurapa did say yesterday that he took no pleasure in what was happening to D.K. Shiv Kumar, that he prayed for him to come out of it, and that if he does come out of it, then he would be the happiest person. This was a response of B.S. Yadurapa, the chief minister, when he was asked about D.K. Shiv Kumar's own tweet, saying that my BJP friends will be happy now that I'm arrested. That is what they wanted. So the Congress certainly viewing this as vendetta here in the state. They are backed by their coalition partner, the JDS, with former Chief Minister H.D. Kumaraswamy also saying it was a politics of vendetta and that opposition leaders were being unfairly targeted. So it's a chance really for the coalition partners to say they are still close, the Congress and the JDS, despite losing power and despite losing their government in July. They have come together to once again accuse the central government of using central agencies like the Enforcement Directorate, the IT Department, the CBI to target opposition le leaders. Remember, of course, when this entire investigation began back in August 2017, D.K. Shiv Kumar was actually minding Gujarat Congress MLAs. And the Congress insisted then, as they do now, that the timing was not a coincidence.